Hi everybody, welcome back. Now in this video we're going to be looking at Coachman Caravans. We filmed this on the same day that we were at Highbridge Caravans down in Burnham-on-Sea. Uh, on the same day we were looking at the Adria Caravans. If you haven't seen that video, click up in the top corner and go and have a look at it. Now we were down there, we were looking at the Adrias, we looked at a couple of compasses as well. We also looked at these Coachmans as well. Um, there was only a couple down there, um, but we did have a look at them and uh, have a look at this video and see what you think. Now at the end of the video I'm going to give you details on our next upload and uh, give you the opportunity to contribute to it as well. So watch this video and I'll see you at the end. Right, here we are, we're at Coachman now and we're looking at a Fulbrook Island bed. This one is the Coachman VIP 650, it's a brand new 2018 model, just under 28,000. Uh, let's have a look inside. Okay, so that's the lounge area yeah so straight away some things i like here first of all i like the kitchen over here nice sink nice size sink gorgeous tap and something to keep angela happy yes, it's a dual, dual fuel, fuel hob uh, microwave above the cooker all right for me and Ange at that height that's fine wouldn't be for a shorter person mm -hmm. Um, a tool fridge, domestic tool fridge, which is fine. A TV bracket, that's all it needs. USB, USB sockets. sockets, TV, uh, satellite, 12 volt and mains, outdoor wet central heating, control panel above the door. Let's have a look at a typical cupboard. It's not positive catch. Um, which is okay. However, it's self soft closing. I do like that. Even the little cupboard here as well. Your radio is on show. So the radio is on show. That's a shame. Same ones we've got in our clubman. Yeah. Okay. A little attention to detail would have been a bit better when it comes to the strip lighting. Oh, is it coming off? Is it? It's not a case of coming off. You can actually see it. It's just a. Right, so um, let's have a look. This is a mid bathroom. Ah, I can see there's going to be a problem here already. Um, so let's have a look in the bathroom. So we've got sink, a mirror, hello, a Dometic loo, which is on the correct side of the caravan, in my opinion. A cupboard here, which I assume, yep, is a linen box as well. Cupboard at the top there for knickknacks, and there's a palmet above the window for more bottles and bits and bobs. Nice huge mirror to go along with the other mirror. As Practical Caravan would call this, they would call this a Beam Me Up Scotty Shower. So it's a circular enclosure. Well, that's quite a big shower. That is huge. Tile rail at the top there, heated radiator down the bottom. Radiator is down the side there for the wet central heating. A child <laughs> posing on the bed. Thank you for that, Chloe. And this will be the reason why we can't buy this caravan. Because there's no space to get around. There's no space to get around, so we've got our own private walkway there and there. And but because we are lanky and because we are tall, we would not fit on this bed. Now it's got nothing to do with me being a slightly Larger gentlemen, this has got everything to do with the fact that this bed would not accommodate our lanky bodies. No. What's the waste of space at the back for? The waste of space at the back there? There's no plug in thing to put your phone on. Shelf. shelf. Yeah. So you can put your book there and a cup of tea behind your head. Yeah. And other such things you need during the night as well. Like um, tablets or asthma tablets or you know, things, no things that you need. No USB sockets. No USB sockets. But look, a TV bracket. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Sensibly put. With a little shelf <laughs> behind. Do like the skylight in here though. Mm. Let's have a look in the cupboards. Positive catches. Big cupboard space. I do like this. It's nice. Mm. If if this if this was a different configuration, that bulkhead there. If that was to one side, or you know, if it was, if that wasn't there at the bottom of the bed, yeah, 
let's say they put the sink to one side and you mm -hmm. know and they configured this bathroom in a completely different way yeah this would be lovely so here we are in the living area in the living space sat down on the cupboard and that's where the tv would be so just imagine we're watching formula one or the football right now kitchen over there lots of big drawers and space etc and then these seats here I'm just going to take a moment to ponder this and take this in because this has thrown up some really interesting things for me. What do you think of that, Chloe? As a 11 year old, what do you think of this caravan? It's good, but like, the colour scheme's a bit bland, if you know what I mean. It's right. just a lot brown. Now, so here's the thing, right? I know that this is a dark caravan it's got dark wood in mm. it but weirdly it works in this caravan this darker color seems to work it works better it's not as brown as the eldest that we saw last week mm. you know that color it was not just dark it was brown like really brown yeah this is paler and i think it's quite neutral even though there's dark like chocolate colored plastic trim up here yeah um I like the way that the cupboards are cream. I could get used to, I like this layout. I do like this layout. Right, Mrs. T, mm -hmm. we've been sat in here a number of minutes now. We've cooled down a little bit because it is cooler in here than it is outside. Yeah. What do you think about the, what do you think about this caravan? It's not bad actually. Quite spacious. Layout's quite good. Um, that panel that you were talking about might be an issue. We might be able to get around that. What, the bathroom? Yeah. So what I'm thinking, there is other mid... Well, obviously we looked at one last week, but there's yeah. other mid bathrooms Yeah. that don't have that panel at the bottom of the bed. Which would be perfect. Wait, so it's a slightly... It's configured in a slightly different way so that mm. you have, like, the bathroom runs the width of the caravan and you'd have like the shower at one side. Um, what am I thinking of? The Bailey Segovia, oh, that layout wouldn't work for us, but that bathroom would be okay for us. Yeah. Shower one side, loo the other side. And I think, I might be wrong, I think those layouts are around. I can't yeah. remember off the top of my head which manufacturer it does it, but that might be a thing. Mm. The only thing is though, this is just a little bit out of our budget. I mean, it's £28,000, son. Yeah. <laughs> and it probably weighs a tonne, doesn't it? Oh, no, it weighs nearly two tonnes. It's 1,800 kilograms. <laughs> um, not that you can see that on the outside, but no. it's 1,800 kilograms. Yeah. Which, yeah, yeah. Nice caravan, too heavy for us, um, yeah. too expensive. And also, we wouldn't be able to sleep in a, in a straight line. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know what would happen. We'd end up going to bed and I would thrash about, kick about, and I'd damage the, the bathroom wall. So, you know, it wouldn't be much much use anyway, so mm. that bathroom, you know, is in the way. I mean, let's face it, I'm six foot, Angela's six foot one. No, I'm five foot eleven. I'm six foot, Angela's five foot eleven. She's not actually, she is six foot. I know this because, yes, you are. You are. Because I'm shorter than you and I look up at you. So then you are less than five foot, but, uh, five foot, uh, less than six foot, sorry. And I'm not going to argue with you over this. I've been married to you for 21 years and, you know... Um, the last time I was measured, I was told I was five foot eleven. OK, then you're growing again. I'm not going to... We'll, we'll continue this off camera. Bear with me. OK, so I'm five foot nine and Angela's four foot three. We've uh, agreed this now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, anyway, no, nice caravan, lovely. Um, I don't think this will work for us. Let's go and have a look at, uh, let's go and see if we can find another coachman whilst we're here yeah. anyway. So there we go, that's the coachman uh, 650 VIP. Nice. Let's move on down here. Now we're not going to look at these ones just yet. And we're not going to look at the uh, those ones either, the Baileys, because uh, we're going to do that at a dealership closer to home. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do that in a separate video, I think. Um, yeah. I'll tell you what though, you know, I was just talking to you about the bathroom in that, um, 
I was just talking to you about the bathroom in that um, coachman. Yeah. If we knop in, knop? If we hop in this one. Yeah. Uh, which is the Segovia, I'll show you exactly the bathroom layout I was thinking about. Okay. Let's hop inside this one. Oh, right, so this is the bathroom I was talking to you about. If we could get this with a fixed, if we could rip out those bunks at the back there, mm. um, we could do this. So bathroom with a shower one side, toilet the other, and the loo and wash basin over the other side. I think that would be okay. Yeah. Right, well, we've got a little bit of sidetrack there looking at the Segovia. Um, that, that is a van that won't do us at all, but also no. you don't like the colour scheme, so let's move on. 2017 Pastiche 575. It's a it's tall berth island bed. Let's go and have a look in there. Yep. Yeah. Quite small, actually, this one. Mm hmm. Hmm, I'm guessing a smoker had this one. It smells like flipping Christmas. <laughs> and um, more things off there as well. Um, no, let's not go in, man. it's filthy, it's horrible, it's hanging, it's 20 grand, forget it. Um, island bed there. Yeah. No, it stinks. It's hot. Um, that was really disappointing. A one-year-old caravan, a heck of a lot of damage in it. Twenty thousand pounds. Terrible. Anyway, here's another coachman. 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 What's that one? That's a coachman. Island bed. Island bed. Exactly. VIP 545. VIP 545. They're both the same. 2018? Yeah. Let's have a look at yours then. <laughs> 24,995. 24 grand, please, mate. 24 grand. It's a little bit of a budget, this one. It's exactly the same as the last one. The configuration of the bed is exactly the same. Yeah. Although we've got a cupboard there. That's all right. Cut like that. The um, fridge is on the opposite side. Dumpy fridge there. It's dead of a tall fridge. Oh, that's okay. No difference. Wait. Uh, no, this is exactly the same as the one that we just escaped from. Yeah. Mm. Okay. The crisp. What is the etiquette when you go shopping for a caravan? Are you are you allowed to go into another caravan if somebody else is already in there? Because, you know, it seems to be an unspoken rule, doesn't it, that if you go into a caravan when somebody else is in there, it's, you know, it's a bit like trying on somebody else's shoes in the shoe shop. <laughs> so, you know, what's the etiquette when you're caravan shopping? Because we've just been interrupted by a lovely couple who um, walked in. Oh, sorry, didn't know you were in here. I walked off and had a look in. The coachman, but of course, you know, we get people hovering around outside. So, there we go, that's our videos thus far. Now, as of right now, me uploading this today, uh, that's all the footage that we have. Tomorrow, we are going out and we are filming the Swift, the Bailey, and the Luna caravans up the road from our local dealership. So we're going to be filming those tomorrow, and uh, you'll be seeing those uploads in the next couple of weeks. The next video we do though is going to be this coming Sunday and we're going to do a live video and it's going to be a Q&A based upon our buying caravan process. So have a look around for that one. It'll be 8 o'clock this Sunday which will be the 15th of July. Uh, Andrew and I are going to be doing it. We'll do it inside the office here and uh, we're going to answer any questions that you have about our process and how we are getting on. By that point we might have a better idea and a better picture of exactly which route we are going down. As it stands, we've only got one, maybe two caravans on our definitely maybe list. Uh, so we're not particularly doing very well. So uh, when we catch up with you then, maybe we'll be in a better position. So anyway, that's it from us today. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you very soon. Bye now.